Control log, U-437, 12th of December, 1942. Following the successful ambush by Wolfpack S, striking 10 plus ships in the first attack, Contact Keeper, U-437, continues to stalk the remnants of the convoy. Now unescorted, surely they are living on borrowed time. If the other U-boats from Wolfpack S don't get them, then U-437 stands ready to deal the final blow. Welcome back everyone. We've uh, just been following this convoy which we attacked last time. Uh, we've given it another contact report. I'm not sure if we're still contact keeper. We're acting as though we are. We sent another report back to uh, BDU so they can let any other U-boats know. And meanwhile, we've set ourselves up in a good position. Wonderful. Right, let's target that ship there if we can. Is that the one we wanted? Um, we've got three torpedoes in the forward tubes. That is the one we wanted. Fantastic. Let's get that identified. Uh, and the idea is we're going to try and get another good attack going here. Okay, get that one identified. It's a victory cargo. Another victory cargo. They seem to be um, very, very popular indeed. Now, angle about. Mm, very close, actually, aren't they? Angle Barra 77. Let's get that jotted up. I've already calculated the speed. They are still doing five knots, so we'll get that set there. And then we can do the uh, the range. They're not twenty. New contact, merchant, moving fast, moving They're not two thousand five hundred meters away. Medium range. About there. Twelve hundred meters. Is that right? And let's have a look from the map. Here. I want to fire early because obviously the um, uh, it's about 900 meters in fact. So you can see the uh, the bow of the other ship coming in quickly. So let's get that underneath there with tube two, underneath there, magnetic, medium, flood. Need to get that way quickly before this ship gets in the way. Fire. We may not get beyond this one. This one looks like another victory cargo. Target marked. It is another victory cargo. Let's just bring that back. Um, is that torpedo going to get ahead of it? I hope it is. It may be a little bit of um, pointlessness if this torpedo. Oh no, no, it's going to get past. It's going to get past. It's going to be fine. I had to go fast speed to get it by, mind you, which is not the best. Eighty-seven. Change that to eighty-seven. Uh, range is probably going to be about eight fifty. Got torpedo tube two. Oh, sorry, three. Beg your pardon. We've got a strike on the first one. Good. Medium speed. Magnetic. Magnetic detonator switched on. Magnetic detonator switched on. Fire. Tube three gone now. What have we got over here? Target marked. Can't see what that is. It's a C one B. Before we do that, we might as well just have a look at this one. Fire's by burning in the background. It's another good hit. Oh, and explosions as well. Alright, come back to this one. Uh, they are starting to do some turns now, not unexpectedly. Uh, so they are, Angular Bow is 86. Range we can calculate is 1200, 1300. We'll go with 1300. Right, um, 
Torpedo tube four. We'll go again with magnetic. The sea's nice and calm. It seems to be going well. Flood four. It's getting covered in the smoke from the other two ships, which are currently burning. Far four. Right, we've only got our external reserve left. We've got our two um, rear torpedoes, so we might um, switch around and get our backside pointing towards these ships and see if we can have a go at them. Oh, okay, well, they've been here, but that one looks in trouble. This one, actually, no fluffs given. So we may need to um, get that one another torpedo to encourage her to sink. This is our target. And then still got that ship over there. These do actually have uh, rear deck guns. I've just noticed that. So unfortunately, I don't want to really risk coming up and going gun, uh, gun on gun with each other because, um, you know, uh, they are sturdy hulls, and uh, we've got a bit of a flimsy hull on our ship. So, um, or our boat. So, yeah, we don't want to be um, exchanging blows. No siree. So fingers crossed. How is this torpedo getting on? Oh, he's missed! He slowed down. He slowed down. We've got a runner. Rubbish. Okay. And what we'll do, we'll um. What we'll do, we'll, we'll come ahead, we'll get around them, and then we'll. Probably set up another ambush and uh, get ahead of him. Yeah, he slowed down. He slowed down as he was turning. Rubbish. Ah well. Ah well. Well, uh, he he's gone, isn't he? He's most definitely gone. Oh, he's actually starting to uh, show some signs. Let's give them a bit of time then. There we have it, the second ship has just gone to the bottom. Wow, quite spectacularly as well. So, confirmation. Uh, we sank a Victory cargo ship for 7,600 tonnes and another cargo ship for 7,603 7, tonnes. Nice. So that takes up to sh six ships sunk. Difficult for me to say. Total merchant tonnage of 37,407 tons. And we had a radio message back. Be more aggressive. Act on no data. Well, thanks be to you. Well, I have been. I have been. I was just letting you know just in case you still wanted me to be contact keeper. But another message coming in. You see there's still three ships out there. What do they have to say now? Oh, sorry you've been so. Be more aggressive. Act on... <laughs> Honestly, these people. So we see three ships out there. They've all got deck guns. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm getting ahead of them, and we're going to. It's a little bit much using the um, homing torpedoes from the rear on them, but you know what? What the heck? You know, they cost a lot, but we've got to give them a, a try. I know that we we got them mainly to um, tackle any destroyers coming um, hunting us from from behind. So. Um, 
that was the fun bit. But I think these are the slow ones anyway, aren't they? Um, slow speeds make some useless gets anything but merchants. Okay, well, so th that was a bad idea anyway. Um, as you can see, they're coming down here. I'm going to surface the boat now and get ahead of them and get in front of them actually, and then we'll fire um, from the rear, then reload, then fire again. Try and whittle this convoy down. Uh, the external reserves will take some time to bring in, probably a few hours, so we have to be stationary while we do that. So we are vulnerable when we do that. So um, What I could do, I suppose, is hopefully if they don't change their course, we could surface out of sight in the cover of darkness, bring those um, two torpedoes in and, uh, and go from there. My concern is up here. This is where the uh, the Corvette and the Destroyer... Well, we sunk the Corvette, but the Destroyers... One went off, didn't it? And the other one was um, temporarily disabled because it collided with something. I'm wondering... They might um, recover, repair whatever damage was done, and then come down here if we're sitting on the surface. That's my worry. Um, but maybe we'll have to chance it to get the, uh, the extra torpedo. But for now, we're going to do what I said. Surface, get in front of them. Turn the rear towards them and we'll use tube 5. Okay, just on the speed check, 150 meters over one minute. 154 meters, 5 knots. So yeah, they're back to doing 5 knots after that temporary slowdown. And that ship's going all crazy directions. So uh, hopefully we'll get this one targeted. Uh, we are at periscope depth once again. And where are they? There they are. Oh, that one's coming straight for us, but, seen, but I'm sure he'll turn to uh, come behind the uh, the rest of the ships. Anyway, we'll target this one. Uh, I think this was the C1, wasn't it? Uh, C2. C2 freighter. Okay. Lovely. Um, five knots is correct. I've just blooming calculated it. There we are over here. We're a bit, a bit ways away at the moment, but trying to get in nice and early. And then we can just wait, hopefully, and keep correcting any course changes, etc., that they make. So that is uh, currently 51 degrees on the angle of bow. Nice. We're going to get tube five. We've got the ho homing acoustic anyway, so we don't have to be terribly accurate. Um, but we've got a lot of time to wait now for them to uh, come on to us. Um, so hopefully the range when we fire is going to be approximately 2,200 meters. No, less than that, 2,000 meters uh, or less. So yeah, we're going to give them a little bit of time, let them come on to us, and hopefully we'll be ready for attack with the uh, homing torpedo. Okay, flooding tube 5 now. Just ticked over the best time to fire. But it's a homing torpedo, so it should be okay. Tube 5 away. Right, let's get that other homing loaded as quick as we can, please. She's away. Hopefully she'll stay on target, but then the acoustic should pick up the ship engines and take her to the target. Okay, torpedo is on target. It's looking good. Stand by. She's gone. One hit and she's gone. Oh, was that a searchlight flashing across? It was. Okay. Periscope down a bit. Um, the other torpedo is only 15% loaded. Uh, so we'll drop down the periscope for the moment and we'll see what we just killed. Let's come off there for a second. Um, confirmation. We sunk a C2 freighter, large merchant for 7,600 tons. Our seventh ship. Fantastic. Hopefully we'll get an eighth before the evening is out. 
Um, good. Right. Continue reloading that. Oh, it's, it's back here, isn't it? Reloading that torpedo. Quick as you can, boys. Quick as you can. And we'll uh, hopefully get another shot on this convoy. Welcome back everyone, we've surfaced the boat, tube 5 has been reloaded and uh, we're just trying to get ahead of them, we're out of their visual range at the moment because of the cover of darkness um, Where's the other one? There it is So uh, yeah, we're just uh, trying to get ahead of them, I'm just trying to see if one of them, that's got a rear deck gun Oh, that's got a rear deck gun as well. I was wondering if one of them had a gun, the other one didn't, and obviously we'd go for the one that was unarmed and then potentially use a bit of deck gun, but it doesn't look to be. So, uh, Tube 5 has been reloaded with a homing torpedo, acoustic homing torpedo. We've got the external reserves, so uh, hopefully if they don't bug out, we'll be able to um, finish this convoy off completely and utterly devastate them, which would be amazing. Uh, first time I think we had a clean sweep of everything. Uh, we've sent radio messages back for our contact reports. We're still using um, ourselves as contact keeper, just in case any other U-boats are in the area. Plus, we've also um, sent back our uh, logbook kill chart as well, so they know that we've uh, sunk another three ships, which is awesome. So we're just going to get ahead of them then, and um, get the. Uh, go, oh, we'll probably cross their path, so we'll use the uh, the rear torpedo from the other side. And hopefully we'll get uh, another kill, which should be wonderful. Okay, welcome back everyone. We've uh, crossed their path. So on the far side of them, as you can see, let's target this one. What we got here? This looks like a C2. Is it C3? It's a C1. Okay, what's the other one? Uh, there we go. Sorry, couldn't, couldn't get off there for a second. Okay, there they are. There they are. We've crossed their path, as you can see. What's that one? We're just identifying them to see what we've got. Oh, they're both the same. They're both the same. Okay, so we might as well go for the nearer one. Tracking your target. So, what have we got? We've got a C1B type medium merchant. Okie koki. Let's get this locked in then. Uh, angle of bow is 49. Angle of bow is 49. Let's get that sorted. Boom, boom, lovely. Speed 5 knots, still going at the same rate. Uh, there we go. Range. It's going to be about 1650, but currently 2100. Let that work its way down. Brilliant. So tube 5, we're going to fire just under the keel with a man magnetic detonation. We might as well go medium. Can we go? There we go. Slow speed or nothing at all, it would seem. That's okay. So, yeah. Time just to wait and take a few breaths and as they come a little bit closer we'll continue to adjust the measurements to make sure we are as accurate as we can be and as soon as we're ready we'll fire okay tube five stand by flood Flooding tube five. The current range is 1800 meters angle about 73 angle gyro angle is just about to tick over Ah. That is us out of internal torpedoes. You've got the two external ones which we'll try and bring in. And hopefully uh, we'll score the final kill. Let's keep an eye and make sure this torpedo is setting off on a good course. Looks okay for the moment. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, that torpedo failed to detonate. So I'm not sure if 
Um, these are riding too high and it went underneath and the magnetic piston did not identify the metal above it and that's why it didn't detonate or what but either way the acoustic part of it didn't work either <laughs> so yeah a bit of a bit of a disaster all round on that one yeah yeah not really worth uh, money buying those at the moment. Wait till they get the upgrade, then they might be worth it. So, there's still two ships, two C1Bs sailing on. What I'm going to do is get Slow speed ahead. make sail. Going to get ahead of them and then uh, obviously out of their visual range. It's three o'clock in the morning now. If we can do a torpedo um, exchange, bring the external reserves in, if that works this time, then we've got a chance of um, getting that done before daylight. And if we can do that, then and we can stay in contact with these two ships, then we'll give it one more go. One more go. Let's see how this works out. Welcome back, everyone. We're doing the external transfer of the torpedoes. Uh, and for that, we have to sit still, obviously, because they're moving the torpedoes from the external store into the internal store. We can't be moving. We can't be anything but stationary on the top of the water. Unfortunately, we just spotted an aircraft in I don't know what they're doing at flying in this time of night but um, yeah obviously if they've got radar they might detect us so we've got the guys on um, on the flat gun um, yeah what we'll do we'll also set them they can fire at will from medium range there we, go. there we go they've got their orders I don't see it myself but it's pitch black I can't see anything there you can see the two contacts just sailing off into the uh, distance over there. Yeah, we will try and catch them up if we can get these torpedoes reloaded. But there is apparently a, an aircraft hazard in the sky. Fingers crossed um, he doesn't spot us because I can't spot him. Welcome back, everyone. It's 8.36 in the morning. Light is here, as you can see. The sun has come up and we are chasing as fast as we can where we last saw the uh, the two convoy ships heading 329 so far the horizon seems bare uh, good news though those external reserves successfully came inside this time which is good so we've got the steam torpedo fore and aft already loaded it's just if we can find the remnants of this convoy. What's that over there? No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. We're going to be charging on at full speed ahead. Hopefully they haven't deviated too much. But we are a couple of hours behind them now. So we've got to be careful now that daylight is here to um, not run afoul of any ships. We've got the guys on standby on the flat guns as well, just in case. But hopefully, hopefully we can get ahead of them and uh, well, identify them and then get ahead of them finish them off for good. Welcome back. It's just gone quarter past ten in the morning. Smoke on the horizon. We've finally, we've caught them up. We've caught them up after a few hours of chasing up um, full speed ahead, there they are on the horizon is that actually a I can see their smoke but is there a smoke plume no it's gone now I thought there was a smoke plume between them maybe it was just um, the smoke from the, the funnel, the forward ship um, hanging in the middle of them I thought there was a third um, smoke stack then which got me slightly worried just in case an escort had paired up with them or something but no, we found them. Good, good, good. So we are going to uh, head south as fast as we can. Then we'll set up an ambush down here. We'll take their speed as well. They're now um, sailing in line, which um, will make... Well, we've only got one torpedo, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't make it easier or, or harder. But if we can ideally use one torpedo a ship and then sink them both, but uh, we'll fire one torpedo. If we can get a hit, we'll see if that sinks her. If not, then we'll use the second torpedo in the rear to uh, try and finish off the uh, the kill 
rather than um, and then we may just have to let that one ship go we'll radio her position in so any other u-boats or uh, aircraft can get her and uh, and leave it at that but that's our plan i'll see you in a few Okay, here they are. Here, hang on, are they the same ships? They're not, are they? Oh, they may be. They've got to be the same ships, haven't they? Really? Come on. Let's have a look. Yeah, C1B. And what's this one then? Oh, hang on. I might need to select it from the map. Tracking new target. C1B. Yeah. Okay. So they're just slightly. They look different. This one's darker in, in the uh, the cold light of day, we would seem. Okay, no problems at all. So, we've got tube one. You can see, actually, now that we see it, the uh, the red waterline is quite prominent. So, it, she's sitting quite light in, in the... Uh, uh, sitting quite high, and she's quite light, it would seem. So, um, let's get this plotted. So currently her angle of bow is 43. No, this one, honestly. Tracking new target. Angle of bow is, well, I have to do that again now. So it's taken so bloody long. 42, good. Range. Seventeen hundred meters. Is that right? That doesn't seem a bad shout. Seventeen hundred meters. Perfect. What well, thirty meters out? But pa. What's thirty meters between friends? Eight. Eh? Five knots. I did a speed calculation up there. They're doing one hundred and fifty meters still per minute, so it's uh, five knots. Torpedo tube one. The water is quite still. We're going to go not quite fully because she is sitting high in the water and sea. So we go seven meters. Flood tube one. I know I'm a little bit worried about magnetic, but one magnetic right under the uh, keel of a ship is enough to uh, break the back of them. So you can get potentially better kills with one torpedo with magnetic uh, pistons. Obviously, the impact pistons is more reliable especially as we got ourselves a nice um it's going to be a 90 degree attack when we go but for now i think we're going to risk the magnetic 1200 meters double check that from here 1250 1255 perfect perfect right Depth set to six meters. Yeah, I, she is sitting there high, isn't she? I'm nervous. I'm thinking I might go impact. It's a bit late now. No. Go to Magnetic impact. Magnetic detonator switched on. Magnetic detonator switched on. Torpedo depth set to five. No, no, no. Let's let's Magnetic let's stay with our courage of our convictions. But she's sitting high, so. I'm going to go there. This could be proved to be a foolish point in a second. Stand by to fire. Not long now. Watching that gyro angle ticking over. Almost. Stay on target. <laughs> Tube one, fire. Tube one away. Right, so we've got the rear torpedo tube. Flooding 
We get start turning already. Prepare for course change. We'll see um how this Returning torpedo gets course. on. Yeah, if we can get turn really quick, she may the second ship may start to um evade, which you'd expect, but um you never know, we might get lucky. As I say, we might need torpedo tube five to finish off this one if if we get a good hit with this one, but it doesn't kill it. She's on target. Oh, beautiful. We are right to go with the magnetic. It breaks the back instantly. Look at that. She looks from the outset, apart from the fire and the smoke, to be undamaged. But underneath, we're going to rip the entire keel off. And just water will be flooding into the, her... Um, lower sections as we predicted this one is making a course change right come on let's get some speed going and try and get this turn complete so confirmation our eighth kill uh, a c1b Type medium merchant for 6,703 tons. Nice. But hopefully we're not done yet. This one does have a deck gun, as you can see. If it didn't have that, I'd pop up and just use ours. Uh, she's getting the angle away from us. Do you know what, what we might do? Is have to back off. Surface and get ahead of her again. That might be the easiest way because we're not turning fast enough to get a shot away. And we're now at a terrible angle. So yeah, I think what we're going to probably do then is move away. Surface. Let her settle down. And continue back on course. And uh, pick her up in a few moments. Hi oh, everyone. Right, a little bit of time has passed. We haven't we haven't surfaced. But she's kind of um, straightened up and uh, carried on. So we might be in a position where we can get a shot away. See, we attacked up here. Uh, and we're only a few meters down here now. Uh, so let's get this calculated. She settled down rather quickly, which is good for us. That's 77, angle about. Let's go up to 77, perfect. Range. Quite a distance. About there. 2,900 meters. Is that right? That's quite a way. 2,000. Yeah, 2,000. 2,950. 2,941. Perfect. Do a speed check on her again. I don't know if she's still doing um, five or eight knots now. Get that checked. 150. She's back down to five knots. Good. Okay. She's back down to five knots. We're almost ready to go then. Tube five. Uh, she's quite... We're going to go there again. Medium. Medium. Magnetic. Flood five. Let's just do the angle of bow one more time. While that tube floods. We drifted forward a bit. 84. 84. Is that 84? Yes, it is 84, isn't it? Yeah. My old eyes. Right, fire when ready. Godspeed. That's it. We are out. I think she's gone. I think she's gone. Yes, she is. Nine ships. Fantastic. C1B type merchant. Uh, medium merchant for 6,703 tons. Wow. That is the convoy completely wiped out. Completely wiped out. During that, we managed as contact keeper to sink one 
Corvette for 950 warship tonnage and nine merchant ships for 58,413 tons. Given a total tonnage of 59,363 tons, that is not bad return from one load of torpedoes. And she sinks beneath the waves. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well then everyone, well done. Great show, great show. Right, let's um Can we request a resupply? Excellent. Right, where are they? Um up there, right. That is gonna be our next task then. We're gonna sail around the Azores to our resupply ship. And we'll get another load of torpedoes, some more fuel, some more food. And then we'll pick this up again next time. Thank you so much for joining the crew of U-437 on her, well, her absolutely annihilation of the remnants of that convoy. Wolfpack S have certainly, certainly done the BDU proud, certainly have. We're going to pick this up next time. We'll go for the resupply and we'll go back on the hunt, back on the offensive. Maybe as contact keeper, maybe as one of the, uh, one of the pack. I don't mind which, I'm loving this Wolfpack action. Not actually wolf pack action today, but you know we followed on from where we were. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, give us a thumbs up. Help the support the channel and the series. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe, tickle the bell so you don't miss the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.